Hey, what's up, everybody? The uh, season 20, Jesus, 20. I, I actually can't believe it's season 20. The prizes just got revealed, so we're gonna go over the prizes. And we got uh, some news on map changes yesterday that I'm really excited about. All right, so yeah, we're, we're just gonna do that. If you don't know, the season uh, theme for season 20 is actually Apocalypse. So there's some pretty cool items in this pass. But before but before we get to the pass, I wanna show you uh, the, the little map changes we're getting. So this entire entire area if you see these mountains that are like made out of parts if you don't know what a part is i should probably explain in roblox studio there's terrain and then there's like parts or meshes and that's what jailbreak's made out of if you see like this area it's like kind of smooth but kind of bumpy it's like a lot smoother than these pieces this is terrain now the reason these mountains aren't terrain is because terrain is like pretty poorly optimized so it would have made roblox run really bad well jailbreak run really bad so so they ended up putting these mountains in that are like decent, but uh, need some updates. So they're going to be updating that whole area. We're actually going to get a new like jailbreak Hollywood sign, which is really cool. That's going behind the prison. And then we're going to have like drift trails, a whole bunch of stuff like that. I've been asking for something like that for a long time. So I'm very excited that they're finally doing something like that. And there will probably be some more news even after I make this video. I'll try and keep it updated on my community posts. So just make sure you subscribe if you want to see those and by the way if you like the video make sure you like this too because it it really helps when you do that and it's like one click so it's pretty simple but yeah now i'm gonna get into the prizes because i don't want to really waste any time so obviously we have to start with the level two prize because you don't get an item at level one like you don't get an item for just playing this season that would be kind of cool if you did but i understand why they don't and these will be the scythe wings so this is a spoiler which i don't think we've gotten a level two spoiler before now that I'm really thinking about it. It was this easy. You dumb idiot. You're and also the image is really strange because the scythe wings on the macron and the macron is a motorized wing and you can't put spoil i d it don't make sense but this item is really cool matches the theme super well i think the apocalypse theme is actually really good jailbreak theme and i hope we get an event with this which is totally possible i could see us getting a really cool like event i know we already had a nuclear event and we already have a lot of events events to do with disasters but i wonder if we'll if we'll get something like like that one event from fortnite where the volcano freaking blew up uh the tilted towers that's the most nerdy freaking Fortnite. There, there was that one event where the volcano like blew everything up and it actually stayed that way for a while. In Jailbreak, the events we've had is when something gets broken, it immediately rebuilds itself. I think it would just be cool if we had like half a season where everything was like broken, but you can still do robberies. That would just be really cool. Anyway, sorry, I'm yapping. And then we have at level three, this is a pass prize, the biohazard rims. Now these are cool. I, I pretty much expected them. We have like the nuclear rims already if i can find those i i like radioactive because it matches the style and it glows more but i know we had the new symbol rims somewhere i just there's too many rims in this game now i can't find them oh there they are they're called blade for some reason uh don't know why but yeah there they are i guess i could put like the radiant green on it and it would it's just really freaking bright though anyway i'm like super excited to get these rims they'll be cool for for builds like this we already have this like radioactive of nuclear texture so i think it will work really well and then at level four we got a free prize this is the radiation detector which i believe is a furniture item but it's like not specified in any way it's just called an item so it doesn't really say furniture it just it just is an item and then at level five, we got a pass prize. This will be the animated saw blades. Now, these are really, really, really cool. Um, I do think it's weird that they're putting all these spoilers on the macaron still. Are they going to make it so you can change that maybe? I don't know, but it's weird. As far as I remember, you can't put a spoiler on the macaron. Maybe you can, but it ha I know it has the animated 
built-in spoiler. So it's really strange to me. But yeah, these are these are cool. And then at level six, we get another free prize. These are the Road Warrior rims. Now these are actually really sick. I honestly didn't get a good look at them the first time they came around, but I like these a lot. They're like the saw blade rims, but better. I saw so the saw blade rims kind of drive me crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Then we got the Sparks Drift, which will be uh, pretty cool. That's from Puga. Uh, big shout out to Puga. I had the fro made the frost crawler last season and helped me out with my review. But yeah, I'm actually those those spikes are really cool. The spikes, those sparks. I'm excited for the sparks drift. And then we got a free prize. This is the first time I think we've had a, a texture be a free prize in a past. I don't know. There's a there's some weird layout changes this season, but I'm all up for it. A little bit of diversity. We got the road hazard skin. Um, it's like a rusted uh, texture with like yellow caution tape. No, it's not like caution tape. I don't even know what you call that. I don't know. It's a it's a decently cool prize. I wouldn't say it's uh, my favorite looking texture. I'll have to see it in the game to judge, to be completely honest. And then another one by Puga at the level nine, we get a pass prize. These are the APOC spike tires. Maybe I'm saying that wrong. APOC, A-P-O-C, spike tires. I don't know, man. Yeah, they got spikes in them. That's about it. And then for the, for the moment, everybody's been waiting for it. We have the Striker. This is our level 10 vehicle for this season. And there's a lot of people kind of like hating on this thing. And I don't understand it. Like this thing is um, one of my favorites so far. Just, just the look of it is amazing. It's a three seater vehicle with a custom skin. Like, the Shogun. And it says it has protection uh, from the outside world on it. I wonder if that means you'll be able to shoot through the car. So in most of the cars in Jailbreak, you can actually shoot through the windows and damage the people in the car. I'm wondering if this will be like in GTA where they have the armored vehicles. I wonder if it will actually be hard to shoot people in this vehicle. That would be a really cool feature. But it's a three-seater vehicle. Uh, there will be two seats on the inside, and then I'm assuming they're counting the third seat being the minigun. So there's actually a minigun on the top of this vehicle, and then there's like a spot on the back where they stand, which is really cool. I love the way the back of this uh, car looks. It looks like a Lamborghini Huracan almost, the backlights. But it's, this is just, it uh, looks like a beast. I am so excited to use that thing. And I know people are going to be like, and that is hypercar. Somebody literally told me another generic vehicle. Like, oh, duh, huh? How, wait, what about that looks generic to you? That's like the craziest. I, I don't know. I've never even seen that vehicle until they showed it in the, uh, in the thing. What do you, what you might call it in the, in the past reveal, but I, I really like it. And then we got our 2% prize. This is the flaming skull wing. Uh, it's cool, but I can't even, they didn't even put the this one on a vehicle because so I can't even see like what it looks like on the vehicle. But we are going to do some awesome giveaways when this season comes out too. So once again, uh, put the post notifications on, subscribe, stuff like that. Uh, I'm definitely going to be giving away some of the passes. So be around for that. And we are actually going to be doing an icebreaker giveaway. Uh, the, the, the car, the icebreaker. Let me actually uh, use it really quick. Yeah, so we'll give away this car when the new season starts. Uh, I'm actually really excited. And all those will be done in my Discord too. So join my Discord and you'll be the first to see that stuff when it goes live. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it for this vehicle. How do you how do you guys feel about these prizes? I kind of like them. I, th I think they're pretty cool. Honestly, I'm super excited for the map changes we're going to get because I, as a jailbreak YouTuber, I'm always just freaking driving around the map looking for something to make a video on or something to do. It's like what I do when I'm bored in this game. I just cruise and that honestly like just eases my mind for some reason. So I'm excited to get some new roads and like new location type stuff hopefully we get some more like filler things around the map too like maybe some more secrets would be so cool i don't know but uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh i hope you guys really like this pass when it comes out i'm gonna be streaming it and everything uh so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one right Just came out the blue Come to face me I I'ma punch you Bring another four He gon' turn him purple too